I received a $5 tip. Thank you, whoever this is, because we have not had a tip in over an hour. So I really appreciate that. This is from... Uh, oh, it's just an, an anonymous video. An anonymous tipper. $5 tip. Salutations, Phil. I'm watching some older videos. You've lost a lot of weight over the years. Do you have any advice for those wishing to lose weight? How about you? You're looking kind of fat. Uh, sure. Piece of advice number one. Ration what you eat. Meaning, don't have unlimited food around. Don't allow yourself to eat unlimited. You know what I mean? Like, one of the big things that's changed about my diet is that I have a breakfast, a dinner, and a snack at night, and it's rationed. Outside of those three times I eat, I don't eat. You see? So because of that, without having tons of snacks and shit around, I'm not tempted to eat these unhealthy things. Um, Home-cooked meals. Humongously important thing. Don't keep eating out. When you keep eating out, the food is usually unhealthy for you. I mean, yeah, there's some exceptions, but if you start having a staple of home-cooked meals that you go through, like a big rotation, um, it's going to be healthier for you overall, and you're actually going to save money, too, in most cases. So it benefits you in multiple ways to be, you know, eating at home. Oh, no, that was a mistake. It definitely benefits you in multiple ways to be eating at home as opposed to constantly eating out. Um, cut soda out of your diet completely. Just one million percent. You don't need soda. No one does. Soda is bad for you. And when I say soda, I mean, you know, Coke, Pepsi, Sprite, anything that has a bunch of sugar in it. It's completely unnecessary. It doesn't serve any purpose. You can easily drink seltzer water that's flavored with non-sugar that doesn't give you calories that taste just as good. I love these seltzers I drink every day. Um, and I have absolutely no need for soda. I don't even want soda anymore, quite frankly. It, I don't. I have no craving for it because I cut it out of my diet. And you'd be surprised the amount of calories and stuff that comes from like drinking soda. You'd be shocked. I'm the exception to the rule. Um, When you eat, do not eat and gorge yourself over the top. I used to do that. Whenever I used to like eat a meal, a bit like a, a meal I would eat till I was like engorged. Like, oh yeah, it's so good to keep eating. Now I eat until I basically my stomach kind of feels like okay, that's it, and then I stop. Even if there's more food left, I don't keep going. Oh. Alright, this is it. This is a lot. I'm having one final bite. I can't eat the rest of it. Look, I can't finish this. It's too much. It's just too fucking much. I'm gonna I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna explode. You know? Um geez, I can keep going. You know, for me, one of the reasons I used to be be overweight was also I used to drink so much. And when you're drinking with, you know, liquor all the time that has calories in it, that's bad, right? I could keep going. <laughs> uh, there's so many things you can do, like little minor things. What it is, is if you stop drinking soda, if you stop overeating, if you stop eating out all the time and you start eating home-cooked meals, okay? Like immediately, within a month or two, you're gonna see a distinct difference. You're gonna start seeing results. Because what it is, you probably have what's called water weight on you. It's basically all that weight that you have on you. It tastes, um, it's citrusy. Most, most, uh, gin has botanical notes or citrus notes. Depending on what gin you get, you'll get, you'll get different flavors to them. Uh, straight gin basically is just kind of a, more of a, a fresh, fresh kind of a scent to it. Um, so continuing on. I mean, again, I can keep going. There's so many easy things you can do to try to lose weight and they're pretty effective. Now, here's the catch, okay? The catch is it's easy to lose that water weight. Oh, that's what I was telling you was, water weight. So the water weight is essentially weight that you have on you that's incredibly excessive that you can easily lose if you just make simple life changes and a little bit of maybe exercise. But then the harder part is not only keeping that weight off, let's see what this does, not only keeping the weight off, but then getting rid of the other weight because there's weight that's much harder to get off of you. And that takes intense work. It takes a lot of exercise, a lot of lifestyle changes, but you can probably, most people who consider themselves overweight could probably lose 10, 15 pounds easily with minor changes to their lifestyle. And that's the thing. I used to, to give you some examples, I would wake up in the morning and eat something completely unhealthy, like one of those microwave greasy sandwiches or something like that. Or on the way to work, I would get a bacon, egg and cheese sandwich from somewhere and eat it on the, the way to work. All day at work, I'd be drinking coffee and tea with sugar and cream in it. Then I'd have a lunch, which would be an unhealthy lunch with a, like a sandwich with a bunch of cheese and mayo and stuff on it. For dinner, I, you know what I mean? I'd eat unhealthy. 
that was when I had my office job. When I lost my office job and I was doing YouTube full time, literally I would eat out every day. Every day I would go and get food during a break of recording. Now that wasn't when I was streaming, so you guys didn't notice, but every single freaking day I would be going out and buying food. It was horrible. I wasn't cooking at all. You know, why did I lose so much weight in the recent years? My wife is a good cook. We have a schedule of meals we eat, and I've seen, you've seen all this weight come right off my body. You know, right now, I'm just over 200 pounds. I'm probably like 201, 202. Like, no one be no one believes that. No, it, and, no, and no, yeah, exactly. Maybe no some people does. do, but most, most people... Which is a great weight for me. I'm supposed to be 185, according to a doctor back in the day. But, um, yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's a big part of it. Anyway...